Hello and welcome to this section of Proton Structural Steel Design. In this section, we will be talking about how to design the steel stringer and as well as the steps. And then we talk about the handrail, right? So how to run an handrail along this uh, stringer and as well as the steps, okay? And you know this has been this, this finger is modeled in this uh, proton structure uh, models and for us to be able to carry out the steer modeling and as well as the andres we will have to move this project to product steel successfully which is what we are going to be doing and so you will have to pay an attention to what we are doing for a better understanding all right so let us make progress right away are we navigate to the analysis you know before you have to move your project to the proton steel models you will have to make sure that the project is analyzed okay and then we have analyzed this project in the previous presentations so if you check over you go to the analysis tab right there the building analysis you have a green check meaning this project has been analyzed and as well we have taken our time to design all of these structural members successfully, the distinctions, the braces, as well as the process components, right? The no top bottom, and as well as the diagonal particles of the truss components, right? So, taking the project to plasty, you will have to just uh, navigate to the drawings and reports tab right there, click right there to have. So many panels, we have the concrete details, uh, concrete detailing panels, you have uh, the steel detailing, right? And then we have the quantity extraction tables and the rest of the report managers right there. Okay, so we just have to left click once on the polar steel right there, and then this will open up the polar steel for us right away. Just click it once, we give it some seconds to actually boot up polar steel just like this, and this will automatically move this project to polar steel where we can carry out uh, the connections of these uh, structural members of this steel uh, we have successfully all right so we have this we check everything has been successfully imported and then for us steel 22 has opened successfully just like this okay so our bone of contention in today's presentations has to do with the springer this one okay so i will show you how to actually model uh or design a stringer just like this and as well the steps okay to assess this height successfully after which we look at the we will look at the um the address right so let us make progress for instance if maybe you only have this finger model in the protest structure modules you want to get it done here yeah? right what you need to do if you check over your assist finger right here this one right so you just have to hold the shift key and click on it so once you hold the shift you can click on it it will open the default steer settings okay so this is the first stage settings here you can select the right profile you want to use okay for the stringer all right so you will need to click in this provisions where you have uh, this uh, uh, manager right there and this will automatic, automatically fetch and load sections for you okay steel profiles where you can navigate to either i profile you want to use okay or the you know uh uh edge uh section uh, sections or the rectangular sections the square sections okay you want to use you can actually select it right here all right so let me cancel that okay let's for instance we are going by this uh, rectangular uh, hollow square sections okay ROH X right there 250 by 150 by 100 millimeters thickness right so we are okay with this for instance and then we click on apply that okay so for you to not place this you just have to pick up two points okay pick here as the point one okay and then navigate to point two and place it so this is how you place your stringer all right so this stringer all right, you may not necessarily place it while in a product structure model, but you can as well place this also in product steel, okay? And you can model as well in product steel, okay? You just start we need to model in product structure so as to create analysis and select the right sections for our designs, all right? So after which, I'll have to get rid of this because we have already stringer existing right there, okay? So click on the delete option, yes, option to get rid of that. So we have the stringer right here, okay? Now what we need to do now let's start to place the address okay the address after we place the address we now proceed to place the uh, to design the steps right there okay 
So what you need to do to place an array, you have to navigate to these provisions and then you activate the auxiliary still work. Okay, auxiliary still work right there. So you can see an Andre right here. Okay, so if you actually uh, hold the control key and click on it, you will have this uh, Andre's micro settings right here, of which you can be able to set these provisions and just the extensions at the end of the you know rare properties. Okay, as well as the user defined post locations. Okay, you can actually adjust this post spacing right here okay and then post offset as well okay i believe you are getting what i'm saying right okay so we go to the post setting right here and then you can do some uh, profile type of settings so this has to be using an angle section so you can use pipe okay it just all depends on what you want to use as you are post uh profile okay and as well as uh, the railing so we can click on others and then be able to click in these provisions to get into the uh, profile provisions where you can actually select the profile to use okay so you can select uh, the pipe right there after which you can now check the new plate settings okay so you know all of this you can actually make successfully the you know sections the thickness right the profile name both post parts okay you can as well leave it at default okay android settings okay so you can as well provide the name, all right, and then have a distance between these provisions. But for the second presentations, we will leave all of this at default, okay? So after which you click on apply that, okay? Now to place the array, what you need to do, select the array by you no, know, just left click on it once, and then you have to select the members in which you want to run the array on, okay? So, so pick this one as the member, you have to now right click, and then where do you want to start this point? I want to start from that point. And then I'll take it all the way to this point. So you have to make sure you have a snap point of where you actually intended to place the uh, array. So I will zoom closely to be able to have this point placed. So click right there. You can see we place an array just like this. And then the micros is being activated as well for us to continue. So I can pick this again, right? And as well, pick this uh, in profile, right? So I will right click to place the array as well on these provisions successfully. So I we only pick these two points just like this to place it, all right? You can right click to interrupt the command. So you can see here uh, my arrays, okay, successfully placed. I can omit this, uh, uh, the project, this uh, the direction, so I can place these provisions, click on it once, pick that uh, prof the profile, okay? So once you have that bit, I click on it, pick the first point, then all the way pick the second point to have it placed just like that. Okay. And so if you want to actually have, uh, you can see the poles that we're using uh, all a uh, you know a circular pipe right there. As you can see as we have selected successfully in the settings. All right. So now we have to you know link this uh, top uh, ray members together with this other one so you can use this android connections here this one pick it once pick the first one pick the second one to have it linked you can see right there okay so all of that has been linked successfully so everything is good so at this point let's navigate to the to the access staircase okay in this access staircase what you need to do uh you will have to navigate to this uh provisions check the miscellaneous Okay, and then get to the details. Okay, here we have uh, this is stringer holes. So we are going to use this stringer holes. I'll show you how to use stringer holes shortly to provide a steps. Yes, okay, steps that will allow us access onto this platform successfully. All right, but before then, I want to be showing us uh, the new template that you can actually use to carry out your uh, editing of the steel drawings effectively. All right, so here is the uh, template software. Okay, you'll find this software links. Okay, at the description of this video, where you will download it. Okay, this actually consists of uh, templates. Okay, depending on the type of structure and foundations. Okay, in which you build a structure. So this is uh, the first step is the template. Okay, of building on the footing, part footings. Okay, foundations, and then it's for steel drawings like. As we are adding out right here at the end, we we'll produce the string drawings. This template will help you actually to fast track your steel drawings, editing this particular steel building detailing template. Okay, so it's for the steel structural members. Okay, it will help you so much. All right, so and then you follow by the pile. Okay, so once you get this, 
uh, in the description of this video there will be a link as well to the video that will actually explain how you make use of this successfully for the report on your power designs you can actually click here and reference the documents we have here okay and then for the part uh, design you can also have a report if you have done if you are designing tecla you can use this tab there's a tecla template right here okay that can help you to fast track the editing of your work and also start pro and as well as a robust structure okay if you get the template and then you it is it works offline okay all of these provisions for all these template works offline while these provisions you see online okay works when you are connected online because if you click on each of these it will take you to a course where you can start as a beginner course in each of the software which is Prota, Tecla, as robust structure, start pro okay these are beginner's course that will actually teach you from scratch how to begin with this software successfully where explained courses okay so you can also check paid courses through this here okay and then free course this template has a free course okay so if you connect online and click on this free course you'll be able to access a free course okay so get this template the link is in the description of this video and then the video on how it works very well will be will also in line with it at the description of this video so check it out okay also for a simple steel building detailing templates okay this particular template there will be a link if you really want to get all of this software okay that contains all of these templates you can also get a simple uh, a single uh, steel uh, building uh, detailing template you can get only this one Okay, the link is also in the description of this video all right so let us proceed so now we want to place the we want to place the steps and as we run the address on this uh, on this stringer okay so what you need to do is click on this provisions uh this stringer provisions once you click on that we select the first uh stringer okay select the second stringer so this will be automatically placed uh, uh, steps that will allow you access onto this platform successfully. So you can see right how everything is being modeled, okay, successfully, right? So having done that, we need a rail as well, okay, that we need to connect, uh, that we need to, you know, uh, need to be on this stringer successfully. So what you have to do, you just have to navigate, uh, minimize this and get to this auxiliary stream work, click on this. And then select this uh, stringer, okay. Right click, pick the first point, take all the way to the second point, place it right there, okay. So you have, uh, you can see, you have a ring just like this, okay. You can always use this, right, to connect this together, just like this, okay. You can see how modern it is now, right. So the same thing applicable to this other side, right. Just pick the stringer, okay. Right click, okay. Pick this point. All the way and pick this other point so you will have this place successfully then you proceed pick the andre okay this one and then pick the first and this second one to have okay the connections right there you can see very modern all right so you can join our master class okay uh we invite your friends to join our master class so you learn more about products TA, okay and product structure as a whole we teach you all kind of foundations okay we have about five types of foundations okay that we will teach you in this program plus structure and then as well you have a good knowledge and master steel design as well in plural structure successfully and this is plural structure 2022 okay so we will bring the presentation to a stop here and then we we'll see you in the next uh presentations don't forget to also like and subscribe to our channel so freezing as we connected and bye for now.